What makes a good game? Some games have a magical quality that makes you want to play them time and again. Game designers call it playability. Games don't have to be complicated to make people want to play them over and over again. One of the first successful computer games is a simple tennis simulator called Pong. The ball was a white square and the rackets were white lines that could only move up and down. Although there were no fancy graphics, people loved Pong because it had great playability. They could compete against friends, just like in real tennis, and it was just hard enough to demand intense concentration and a steady hand, leaving players always wanting another game. To make a game with great playability, you need to think about all the ingredients that make up the game and how they mix together. Characters. In most games, the player uses an on-screen character to enter the game world. To create a sense of danger or competition, such games usually also have enemy characters that the player has to defeat or escape from. Objects. Nearly all games include objects, from stars and coins that boost health or scores, to keys that unlock doors. Not all objects are good. Some get in the player's way, sap their health, or steal their treasures. Mechanics. These are the verbs in a game. Actions such as running, jumping, flying, capturing objects, casting spells, and using weapons. The mechanics are the core of the game, and well-designed mechanics make a good game. Rules. The rules in a game tell you what you're allowed and not allowed to do. For example, can you walk through walls or do they block your path? Goals. Every game challenges the player to achieve some kind of goal, whether it's winning a race, conquering an enemy, beating a high score, or simply surviving for as long as you can. Controls. Keyboards, mice, joysticks, and motion sensors all make good controllers. Games are more fun when the player feels in complete control of their character, so the controls should be easy to master, and the computer should respond instantly. World. Think about the world in which a game is played. Is it 2D or 3D? Does the game world have walls or boundaries that limit the player's movement, or is it open like the outdoors? Difficulty level. A game's no fun if it's too easy or hard. Many games make the challenges easy at the start, while the player is learning, and more difficult later as their skills improve. Getting the difficulty level just right is the key to making a great game.